So it seems there's a new Star Wars movie coming out. And they recently released the newest trailer. If you want to see Paranoia, go over to KJ Osborne's channel. And here we have his review of The Force Awakens trailer. Okay, so there it was. Did you see it? So when watching the trailer, you have the desert, then suddenly you have a stormtrooper pop up, but he's not got his helmet on. So to understand some of these things, it does take spiritual understanding. It takes spiritual eyes. Time for some paranoid pattern seeking. It has to do with Obama. No, no, no! I'm definitely solid on the symbols in this, but as for the Obama stuff, I'm not sure. I'm just kind of putting it out there, okay? There are lots of people out there that believe Obama could very well uh, be holding the Antichrist spirit within him. A lot of people also believe that the Antichrist is ultimately going to wind up being Prince William, okay? No! So you don't know, you haven't come to a conclusion, you're not entirely sure, but people happen to believe lots of different ideas. Many of those ideas being utterly nonsensical. Yeah, and Barack Obama's doing such terrible things like trying to balance the books, trying to get the economy working, trying to look after the poor, trying to sort out health care, <laughs> marriage equality, and a load of other stuff. And that's while fighting the GOP for every single inch. So yeah, evil guy, evil. But then after this, after the assassination, or whatever else is going to take place, however this is all going to play out, that spirit will leap into William, okay, into Prince William, and then he'll essentially become the, what'll seem like the good king, the good man, right, the good world leader. A foundational bias of Christianity and end times beliefs, the idea of the Antichrist, anything that doesn't go against that, you can then use to add on to your belief, and then simply pick out an occasional fact here and there and act like it's a working theory. And hey, if you want to make a complete idiot of yourself, make a video and put it up on YouTube. Okay, so here's the first thing I saw and I thought it was interesting. It's that symbol on his chest and it makes horns. That's all it is. It's a straight line and it's got horns on the side, right? I scoured the internet forever looking through every image I could of a stormtrooper. Do a simple search for stormtroopers, and you got images from the original films, from conventions, and the like, because that's what you would expect, wouldn't you? And so your idea, or as you might call it, your theory, that there's horns on his like chest plate, that must be true. Except obviously, since it's now closer to the film. We've since had releases of what the new Stormtroopers are going to look like, and they have these little vents on their chest plate. Alright, well do you see it? His idea is that logically, this kind of dot, if it connects to something, it has some kind of meaning, it would be in the centre of his back. Otherwise it's some kind of symbol. And he eventually comes to the conclusion that it must be a dark sun. That dot is not at the centre of the back, it's just off centre. So what I actually see here is... The Black Sun. No, God! The term Black Sun became really popular in Nazi Germany. Also means sun wheel. It was a design that was based on a sun wheel mosaic incorporated into a floor in the Wolfsburg Castle. No, God, please, no, no! So a black spot on the back of a stormtrooper's uniform, and he comes to the conclusion that it does not fit his view of where it should be and therefore it must be a symbol and therefore it must be a black sun and therefore it must connect to Nazi Germany and some of their own theology. And now here's another symbol I wanted to show you from the trailer. It shows one of the pilots right here in one of the spaceships but just look at the symbol he has right here. It's on his helmet and also right there on his vest. Trident, which is another one of those symbols we've seen really make an appearance over this last year. There's a reason why K.J. Osborne claims to see these images, even though they don't look like what he says they look like. He claims to be spiritual, and that spiritual life helps him to see the things that other people won't see. So that means a dot on someone's back must be a black sun. That means the rebel symbol must be a trident, even though it doesn't look like a trident. That means when he sees a black guy 
In a film, it must relate to Obama. The method is simple. Pick something you can call symbolic. Look for similar symbols. Pick a symbol that relates to an unpleasant organisation and then pose your unsupported idea as probable. After all, facts don't matter when you're making things up. And today's shout out is for Tyler Preston 20. 